I'm gonna have to keep these down just ever so slightly. I think the lights are causing too much of a shadow in my eyes. I'll figure it out sometime soon. I'll get it figured out. <laughs> Thank you for today is the ninth. <laughs> yes, ninth studio album by Death Cab for Cutie. Isn't that amazing? These guys have been doing this for so long. They're on their ninth album. Now, I haven't been the most faithful follower of Death Cab for Cutie. I have listened to several things that they have released. But I am very proud to have reviewed this album. This is something that shows that not all bands with age decline. I can't speak for every other album. I'd have to go deeper into that. But this was something that I feel was musically very well put together, uh, thought out, and released exactly when they felt like they wanted to put it out there. Another thing I just really love about this album is Benjamin Gibbard's vocal talents. There's a lot of uh, moments in this album where he sings just plain with his pure vocals. And then there are a few um, instances where there are some vocal effects taking place. But none of those are a turnoff in this album. I feel like Death Cab for Cutie utilizes sound uh, effects or sound techniques um, of some kind uh, to their advantage to be able to craft the song as it should be made or as they envision that it should create for the ambience and the mood and the setting for each individual song. When I was listening to this album for the first time, I remember thinking, this is good. How much do I like it? And every time I kept thinking, this is good. This is still good. I I'm liking this. But I was trying to figure out like, Am I experiencing that yes factor with just kind of a more subtle kind of vibe? And there's probably some truth to that with a couple of these songs. So it took me a little while. Of course, as I do with all of my reviews, I re-listen and re-review the songs I listen to, especially the ones that I have questions about or curious little or moments where I'm just curious about what technique, what sound did they choose to use, if there was an instrument, if there was a pause, if there was something that just made the song stand out from the others. And it's interesting to think about that because each of these songs is pretty dang unique. I'll highlight three songs just to give you an idea of what I was liking in this album. First one is Summer Years. This one has just a mood I just really enjoy. The lyrics themselves, I wrote down, were slightly repetitious. And I never really think repetition bothers me until I am reading the lyrics. If I'm just singing along with it, it doesn't bother me as much. But if I'm reading the lyrics and I'm trying to figure out, is there something more to this moment than me just reading it? Another song I really enjoyed was When We Drive. This is one of those songs where I felt like they were taking some inspiration. It kind of made me think of U2 uh, a little bit. I don't know if that's what they're coming from. That's just what it reminded me of. And this one's very interesting. When I was reading the lyrics, it just made me think of the hope that they're wanting to either have or preserve a relationship. And I'm not sure if that's with a significant other or if that's just with a friend. It just felt like it was something like they were trying to hold on to. Not desperate, but trying to acknowledge that it's something valuable 
and that they want to just cling on to it. The third song is Northern Lights. <laughs> I don't really have too much to say about this one other than just, I like it. An odd thing I wrote down when listening to this album and when I've noticed other things that I've listened to from Death Cab for Cutie, I feel like they don't have the most innovative lyrics, but there is innovation in it. They definitely don't go for gimmicky or boring, that's for sure, but there is something that... Uh, feels like it's uh, trying to stay in a special lane. It's not a lane that most artists go for. It's a lane that they've crafted themselves, I feel like. So they kind of stay in that, and you kind of catch on to what it is. Eventually, if you listen to it often enough, it feels like you kind of understand where that direction is kind of going toward each time you listen to it. That's just That's just my take, at least. So after having listened and reviewed this album... With production of 95%, creativity 90%, expression and lyrics 98%, I'm going to give this album a yeah. Thank you, Death Cab for Cutie, for making this album. It was a very, very fun experience. I uh, anticipate that I will listen to it again. I feel like it's an occasional album for certain settings, so I don't see myself listening to it as often as other albums this year, but I am definitely going to listen to it again. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to comment, share, subscribe, share, put it all out there here on this channel so that you can get that yes in your life. See you next time. <laughs>